who will bring with Jesus those who have fallen asleep in him. And I'll be reading from the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verses 5 to 6. And I read. And the angel answered and said unto the woman, Fear not, for I know that you are looking for Jesus, which was crucified. Come, see the place where the Lord lay. I 
and he turned to Jesus and said, Jesus, son of God, remember me today in thy paradise. Can you see that last minute? That very last second when he confessed it. And he said, when he was saved. And he saved his life. Just barely by confession. And Jesus assured him and told him, Today you will be with me in paradise. If this is the word that I, that I made up, just to um, put you on edge, or just to drive you uh, into oblivion. No, it's not at all. He indeed came with the host of angels, and he said, "Where are my people?" Where are the saved? Where are the people that have been baptized into me and into my father? Don't get me wrong, people came. But the Lord expected no full house. On that day. Is your soul matters to him, and your salvation is what he desires more than anything. He did not come so that you 
to have money. That is natural endowment. God has created the whole thing. He has blessed them and he said, multiply, be fruitful. If you work, you will get money. If you go to school, you finish, you will get job, you will get money. If you start business, you will get money. Hallelujah. But how far, where will you take that at the end? Where is he going to go? That is to maintain you here. But it's not going over there. At this age and at this time, we should understand the word of wisdom. If you run too much, you engage yourself too much. And you take yourself out of his presence. When the dark day will come, one penny you are not taking with you. You will not. One penny is not going to go with you. Please. In the name of Jesus, as much as He loved the world and loved everyone, let us take His thing, His task seriously. Because He loved you so much, that is why He left glory in heaven and come down here to save you. We must be saved. Hallelujah. We must be saved. I must be saved. Hallelujah. I want you to help me say this, that the shepherd will be saved. Thank you. Once we have this all the time before us, when we don't take our eyes out of the ball, to pay attention every every moment it will not be difficult it will never be difficult then you will make it Jesus not personally by his own will but by the will of his father. John 3 16 said it. For God so loved the world that he gave his only because he saw that whoever believed in him will not perish but the eternal kingdom. The love of this, the second one, which is 317. I want people to start helping me now. John 317. Romans 323. John 3, 17. For God did not send his son. For God did not send his son to the world to, the world to condemn it. But to save the world. Through but to save the world. Through him. 
Hallelujah. Through him to save the world. It is the message of hope. If you don't know how we were before he came, you should learn to understand it. God has nothing to do with human being anymore. Before he came. And salvation was taken away. And the big of existence in between us and God. If he had not come, there would be no redemption. There would be no salvation. Me and you, we have no hope other than to, than to do what? To remain dead, decay, and buried in the sand, in the grave there. You will not go there. If he had not come. Romans 3.23 Okay, Romans 3 23, I see. Yes. Yes. And all the justified feeling by grace through the redemption yes. that came by Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. He was given as a propitiation, a lamb to be sacrificed. To appease the Father. Now he came and died for you. He put everything down. He wasted his body physically. He took out his blood and sprinkled them on the ground for humanity. Now, do you want to walk carelessly and not be saved at the end? Do you prefer the world and heaven? There is no merriment that, that will take you there. There is no faction that will take you there. There is no wealth that will take you there. Think of it. Nothing in this world that will make you be with him except you have him. And he came. He was good enough when he told his disciples, Today I'm going to I will die. Soon I am going to die. But right now, I am preparing you. I am going to prepare you. So that when I am born, I will be you and you will walk the way I walk. You will do those things that I have been doing in thy presence. And you will follow that pattern, then where I am, that is where definitely you are going to be. But I have to prepare you. That is why you must understand the importance of fit, washing, and receiving Holy Communion. That was the first thing first. After baptism, that is the next step, very next step. So he prepared them. He said, "Now I'm going to wash your feet, Peter. You first from here. Then after this, there will be a great commission which he performed and set them out. You will go, and when you go, what you have, what I have, what I have done for you today." 
you will do it for those who are converted, and you will do it for one another. Then I will be in good. They wash their feet. In the evening and at night when it was dark, when they were on the table, he moved forward and said today, take this is the bread and eat it. Did you eat bread last night? Did you eat? This is my body. Take and eat. It's there in John, if you see John 13, it's right there, from 12. And he told them, this is my blood, open it. That was already transformed. Take and drink it, that is my blood. See, look at it, look at the whole picture. They cleansed them, he washed away their sins. And he gave his body to them to eat. And gave them his blood to drink. And they have it right in their stomach. So, Christ was in them. He was in them. In their stomach. And they have to walk about, walk around with Christ in them. How can the world overcome them? How can darkness overcome them? When Jesus declared John 19, 30, he declared it. And he said, he said, we must run, you must always run. Don't think it's a joke. It's never a joke. If you are a Christian, don't think that all these things are just play. It's not. Or just some um, religious demonstrations. It's not it. The scripture is, is completed. It's sealed by God. And that is our faith. I remember in 1978, 77, 78, right there in the in our church at Cardoso, we follow some prophets. They believe their mission is just to prophesy, and that will be it. We have class cards that you pay 50, 50 kobo at that time. Class card. And that you will have your holy communion and you will have your certificates when you are baptized. And the prophets, we were all walking, and the prophet said, You know what? God did not ask me to contribute anything. What God demanded from me is to prophesy, and that's it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If not, It's not. You have to do everything. We were young, we didn't know anything. It's a talent. God gave you. It is a talent. If you are prophesying, it's a talent. So also, you can see somebody who will come here and just understand the whole scripture. It's a talent. Some will speak with wisdom. It's a talent. Some will raise that. Some will command, they use command authority. It is a talent. You know what? It's not you. The reason why you will know it's not you is it comes through visitation. After completing what, what, what happens, you are back to yourself. And what? 
we followed, we followed, there were two prophets, we followed them, some, some of us who are just uh, uh, at you know, war, one cross, we were all there in the Mercy Land, while Holy Communion and washing of feet were going on in the sanctuary. All of a sudden, the voice came from heaven and said, we were up to 12 or 15, just wasting time on the, on the mercy land because we didn't want to pay 50 for more to eat for the communion and to wash our feet. And the voice came from heaven and said, my children, what are you doing here? Everybody, we had the voice at the same time. What are you doing here? Why the rest were uh, washing their feet and about to take their Holy Communion? It was, we were looking at ourselves who was talking to us. We fled. We ran to the shepherd. We will pay 50 dollars. Uh -huh. We will pay 50 copper. We will wash our feet. What happened? Yes, sir. Just let us wash our feet. We had a voice. What I'm pointing out is it's not a key. Jesus commanded it and is serious about it because he loves you. How can you miss an event? Hallelujah. An event that happens just once in a year. How can you how can we miss it? We have to be in the forefront. You have to be there. You have to wake up if you understand why it John 19 30. John 19 30. First. So I can come when he had received the drink, uh -huh. Jesus said, yes. it is finished. Uh -huh. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No, no, no. 8, 12, not yet. John 8, 12. When Jesus spoke again, when Jesus spoke again, to the people, uh -huh. he said, he said, Of the world. Me, yes. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Sit down. I want to connect two things so you understand what is going on. I am the light of the world. And he gave himself his own body, his own blood to his disciples and to all good Christians.
life is inside you, is it not justifiable to say that you are the life of the world? Of course. Because Oh, you will not come by. Oh, baby, me, I never understand. Baby, you will not come by. And you will not come by. Oh, baby, me, oh, baby, me. Oh, baby, me. Oh, Hallelujah. In Matthew 5, 14, 15, and 16, what did he say? You are the light of the world. Let my, uh, hallelujah, evangelist. Sorry, I'm, I'm very sorry. You know, <laughs> No man will never read for me. We are the light of the world. Papa, me a walk out. I be laughing, laughing, reward. I be a Hallelujah. Read on. You are the light of the world. You are not the light of the world. On a hill can uh -huh. be that can never be hidden. Neither do people light the lamp and put it under a bowl. No. Instead, they put it on its side. Yes. And it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let the light shine before others that they may see a good day. And Hallelujah. 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 I told you I'm not going to take time out. We finish. But what I am pointing to you is this. You are a Christian. You are a Christ follower. They came because of you. I want you to, to, to walk that walk. I want you to be a Christian man, a Christian lady, a special somebody of Christ. Let your home be a Christian home. That was the purpose of his coming. Was to give you hope and life so that you have it in abundance. But what? He cannot settle for. Hallelujah. What Christ cannot settle for is for his soul to be lost. He cannot handle it. And he did not like it. Himself. His Father. And the Holy Spirit. Who is ready to walk for you? He died. For what purpose? Because you will die. He rose. For what purpose? So that you will rise. Look at what Paul said. Hallelujah. Fifty-five, fifty-six, and fifty-seven. Then you see, I want you to conceive it today. 
I want you to see it. If Christ has not come, if he had not died for us and finally rose, I'm telling you, to can the, the, our destination, there's no hope for human being. No hope. Our destination will be hellfire. No hope. Nobody can intercede. Not even the, the prophets you read about in the, in, the, in the Bible. They are not up there. They are like you. They were born like you. They were only using the grace given to them. Nobody, no single angel can save us from not going to hellfire. I'm telling you the truth. No one can appease God except Christ. He did it when he said it is finished. In that uh, John 19 30, it is finished means Lord, I have done it. I have completed the work. Your message has been given to your people. I have said that. I have said the world. I have given them hope and have restored human dignity and have stated their distance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The minimum I know of myself. I don't know about my wife. I do not know about my children. Hallelujah. My brother, I'm not trying to lose you. I am saying this because I have been fully compacted. And, I, and I, I'm declaring now in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ and the angels that are here that I only know about myself, I don't know about my wife and my children. We will do what? We will contest it. It's not a joke, it's not a play. Amafa, we will fight it until we finish the race. That is what I'm talking about. It's a determination. And it's not hard, it's not difficult. If you pay attention. To those of you who are university graduates, you have what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. You have been admitted. You don't want to drop out of university. Isn't it? It's hard. But you know what? You are determined that we are going to... This graduation, it must happen in my life. Does it take happen? You put your mind in your studies. You will do your assignments. And you will study. Nothing will prevent you from not getting your certificates. And that is what it is. It's not different. It's never different. This the determination. And once you determine that salvation is my song, is my crown, is my glory, and you are working towards it, 
you will enter there with Jesus Christ. So, 1 Corinthians 15. I ask you to read it. 1 Corinthians 15 from 55, 56, and 57. Hallelujah. Read on. Uh -huh. Where, O death, is your victory? Hallelujah. Are you hearing her from here? Love that a little bit. Mm -hmm. Where, O death, Where, O death is, your victory? is your victory? Where, O death, is your sting? Uh -huh. And the power of sin is the law. Uh -huh. But thanks be to God. Yes. Oh Lord, do you want more boy than no? Hallelujah. 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 the mercy of God, everything will be placed in our hands. So follow me. Shall not fool me. But if we are just for food, yes, we pay just for what I feel. Shall not fool me. You are now pure. This moment you are here, you are pure. Your heart is glittering right now. 
your hands are washed in the blood of Jesus. But this is the moment to ask him for what you want him to do for you now. And they went to him. They were trying to, to, to quiet him. They asked him, shut up. Shut up. Don't call him. Those were the word of Satan. To deprive him from receiving his own glory. You know, that word is always with you, it's always with us. Ask him, check for me, until you know what you are lacking, he is able to give that to you. There are things you had wanted to do, but you could not do them. Because Satan will not allow it. Devil will not allow it. But now you are free. You are young with him. He's in you. He's the light in you. The light is in you. His body is in you. The Holy Spirit is in you. That thing that is preventing you from getting to where you want to get to. That lead upon you. As him, the Lord, to cross it. Definitely to be crushed. Nothing is too small. He said, as they shall be given unto you, not the door will be opened. And assurance. From the one who is able. Nothing is impossible that he cannot do. From today, from this day that you are celebrating his resurrection, your life will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. You want mercy at all cost by force. Uh-huh. David said, Lord, send now your prosperity. Don't you know that word now? Send it now. It must be now. Until Babin, on the off well, to go up by me, or you shall go for me one dollar, my friend, one dollar. Go for me five dollars, and buy me my friend, five dollars. One person to your own wood. It has everything. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Amen. Jehovah. Amen. Jesus Christ. Amen. Holy mighty El. Almighty and everlasting Father. The beginning and the end. The Lord who confessed to Moses, tell my people my name. I am that I am. that will be recorded from generation to generation 
until the world will be no more. Your children, they gathered these moments and they asked you for their heart desires. Jesus also put himself on the line and said, I am telling you the truth, nothing is impossible for me and my father that you cannot do. Gracious Lord, whatever your children ask you today, you give to them. Amen. Open their ways. Amen. Unmerited favor shall be granted to you. Those of you who have been asking for one thing or the other for so many, many years. Today, this day, you receive it in Jesus' name. Amen. There are some in our midst who wanted to become mother. They are struggling, but it looks like some of them lost hope already. But in Jesus' name, it doesn't matter. To you, it does not matter. When you visited Abraham and prophesied in his life, in his life that your wife said, at this time next year, we brought forth a baby that shall be called Isaac. Sarah did not believe what happened. She laughed. You can laugh right now if you're in our midst. You can laugh. It doesn't matter. That laughing means impossibility. Because God challenged her that why did you like laugh? You knew that it was old and nothing would happen. But God is God. No one is old before him. And today, if you are one of those people that are in our midst looking for this but has lost hope, today God will do heavenly surgery, spiritual surgery, and put the baby in your stomach in Jesus' name. Some people had or they have already, but they are trying to have more. But it looks like nothing is coming forth. Today, in the mighty name of Jesus, God will give you to pray to Jesus' name. Our children who find it difficult to assimilate. Today, God, open your mind. Please don't not let an understanding I do not to you. God will bless his congregation. Yeah. This man that the Lord has given us, we will also put it in our prayer. I know when you are praying, you're praying solely for yourself, but not praying. Asking God for the development of this land. But we have hope. We believe in you. You got the land for us. And the Lord who provided the land will provide the seeds. Amen. You have given us the land and we know for sure through the faith testing you will provide structures on the land. Those you will use for this glory amongst us almighty Father. Lift them up! You want to lift them up! Amen. Come and be with us. Come and bless us. Now and forevermore. Amen. 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 I didn't dare to you.
Only in my health. My God will bless your name. Thank you, Father, Lord, for always helping us. Lord, let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. Lord, your children came to this church today, Lord, and they do not come empty handed as you have commanded us. Father, in the name of Jesus, even as they contributed to the traveling fund, to the mercy fund, and to the general fund. Oh Lord, King of Glory, sanctify their pockets in Jesus' name. Replenish their pockets in the name of Jesus. Even as we place the pounds before you, Lord, Father, Lord, sanctify you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, use this form to your glory of in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, Lord. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus.
Rosana, 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 Rosana. Hey, Beliza, hey, Beliza, hey, Beliza, hey, Beliza, hey, Beliza, hey, Beliza, hey, Beliza. We shall be bringing the food to the court by singing in about four zero six.
Father Celestia of Bayogon to give us a closing prayer. Sufficient to thank you because of all the wonderful things you have done in the life of this church in the life of every one of us. As I enter praises in Jesus' name. Amen. This time last year, the pandemic was ravaging left and right. Even the shepherd became doctor on wheel, going from door to door delivering sanctified water for those who are sick. But we thank you for it did not take any one of us away. Thank you, Lord. As I thank praises in Jesus' name. Amen. Neither did it leave any impression on any one of us. As I thank praises in Jesus' name. Amen. A lot of bad winds, cyclone, this past year, but you have still guarded us. None of us was buried. Everything that was dead in us was resurrected. Everything was resurrected. I said, I praise this in Jesus' name. If we thank you from now to tomorrow, we can't show enough gratitude. But the little we have brought from the bosom of our heart, I said this in Jesus' name. As we shall be going home, this new week that we have never used, but you have worked through it. Continue to guide us. Amen. Continue to guide us. Amen. Watch all our footsteps. Amen. When it rains, we will not go with the rain. Amen. If there is a tornado, it won't touch any one of us. Amen. The grace that has always been sufficient for us as members of this church. Continue to let this grace abide with us in Jesus' name. Amen. When we call upon you once, the I am that I am, say here I am to us in Jesus' name. Amen. In any way that we have committed sin, we are asking you, because you said it has finished on the cross. Let everything be wiped away in Jesus' name. Amen. Be with our pregnant ones. Amen. Those who are looking unto you as Sarah, answer their prayers. Amen. Be with the young ones. Amen. The knowledge, wisdom, and understanding bestow this upon them. Amen. Continue to make bond us together as one in you. Amen. Answer all our prayers today. Amen. In Jesus' name, I have prayed. Amen. Our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, our sin forgive us. Gloria.
We have in Team A, we have Okoye, Okoye Biojo, Emmanuel Adeko, Samuel Akako, Esther Fasson, Mayawa Adewale, Daniel Pokola, Korede Kolawale, Israel Adewale, and Justin Uwabweze. Can I get TB to enter, please? Please give them a round of applause. Karen, please come inside. For Team B, we have Anu Olua Omoya Jowo. Jumoke Balogu. Moyi Olua Adesanya. Jordan Uwabwede, Michael Adeko, Tayo Adewale, Bonuati Fe Ligami, Emmanuel Omoya Jowo, Samuel Akishaye. Parents, please come back inside. I'm going to see competition at the stop where the post recording. So the rules of the game are, we're going to start with one of the teams, they, the judges will ask them a question, if the question is right, they get a point, if it's wrong, it goes to the next team. The next team will get a chance to answer the question, if they get it right, they get a point and they still get to ask their question. Does everybody understand? If you get an answer wrong, it goes to the next team. That team will get a chance to steal that answer from you, okay? Are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Also, the team members have their speakers, representatives, only one person is allowed to talk. They will discuss the answers amongst themselves. And once they're ready, the speaker will say the answer. You have 30 seconds for your question. If you finish before 30 seconds, that is okay. But once that 30 seconds is over, if you do not have the answer, it is going to the next team. Do we understand? Do we understand? All right. Okay, hallelujah. Um, this question goes to Team B. Name the high priest mentioned in um, Matthew 26. How many, many? 
I'm in the middle of it. Question number two, for team B. Team A, sorry. Why were the disciples indignant at the woman who anointed Jesus with the expensive perfume? That was it. Um, the disciples were in big hand because the woman could have sold the oil and gave it to the poor. gospel is preached throughout the world, what she has done will also be told in memory of her. The woman who anointed Jesus' head. Correct.
Yeah. When he was before. When he was before the Sanhedrin, what did Jesus say that caused the high priest to say in turn, he has spoken blasphemy. Why do we need any more witnesses? The question says, when he was before the Sanhedrin, what did Jesus say that caused the high priest to say in turn, he has spoken blasphemy? Why do we need any more witnesses? Because they wanted him dead? No. Hold on, if you get your question, next question is off. How did the people respond when Pilate asked them, What shall I do with Jesus, who is called Christ? Crucifying. Correct. Okay, next question for A. Where did the governor's soldier take Jesus immediately after Pilate had him clogged and handed him over to the to be crucified? Where did the governor's soldier take Jesus immediately after the pilot had him flogged and handed him over to be crucified? The Paratoriums. Correct. Right, your next question to me. What did the chief priest do to the 30 coins that Judas threw into the temple? They used the money to buy the potter's field where they could buy Jesus. Tim A. What is the other name of the potter's field? That the ship is bought with the third coins of silver.
Let me repeat that question. What is the other name of the potter's field that the chief priest bought with the 30 coins that G Judas threw into the temple? You're correct. That's correct. Team A. B. Come. Where was Peter when he denied Jesus a second time to another girl? Gates of the courtyard. Correct. Tim A. Tim A, your question. What does what does the phrase alloy alloy lama Sebastani mean? Oh my God, my God, why did you, why did you forsaken me? Correct. Okay, TV. All right, team B. Fill in the blanks. I will strike the blank and the blank of the blank with the blank. I will strike the shepherd and the sheep and the of the flock and the and will be scattered. Correct. What signal did Judas arrange? I'm going to repeat the question. What signal did Judas arrange with the chief priests and the elders? What signal did Judas arrange with the chief priest and the elders? A kiss. So, so we're moving on. And the next time you guys say to each other, your point is going to go to the next team. Team B. Where did the angel tell Mary Magdalene and the other Mary that Jesus was going ahead to? Where did the angel tell Mary Magdalene and the other Mary that Jesus was going ahead to? Correct. Tim A, the question. What is the other name of the Potter's Field that it... Where was Jesus buried? Joseph's tomb. Thank you.
Is your mic? Yeah, I call Okay, Team B, your next um, question. Name the chief priest that Jesus was taken to after his arrest. Pilot. Sorry? Pilot. Incorrect. No, no, no. Incorrect. Yeah. Alright, so um, Team A. Team A, you have a, you have a chance to, to get this point. Name the chief priest that Jesus was taken to after his arrest. Correct. Where was Joseph when he told Peter, James and John, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Okay. Where was Jesus when he told Peter, James and John, my soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. Get to none. Yes, correct. Yes. Yes. What does the phrase Eloi, Eloi? Ah. According to Jesus, when next will he drink of this fruit of the vine? In his father's kingdom. Correct. Tim A, your question. Where was Jesus when he prayed? My father, if it is possible, let this cup be taken from me, yet not, as I will not be as will, you will. Get some money. Correct. Okay. Um, today, the question which disciples said these words to Jesus even if all fall away on account of you I never will George. 
Which disciples said these words to Jesus? Even if all fall away on account of you, I never will. Peter. Correct. Team A, why did Jesus advise his three disciples to watch and pray? So they can now fall into temptation. Correct. Okay, you guys need to calm down, please. The judges are calculating the scores if you give us a minute or two, okay? Okay, so guys, it's a bonus question, but I will go ahead and tell you the scores because you need to know your scores before you can get the bonus question, okay? Right now we have team A with how many points? 10 points. And Team B has nine points. Okay, for the bonus round, it is just one question. You each have 30 seconds to answer it. You both get the same question, okay? You do not say it out loud until we are ready. Now, but you do need to tell the ladies you get to wave your points up to the score that you have. So, for example, you have nine points. If you want to... Okay, you guys have ten points. So, if you say for your bonus question, you can. it can be worth up to ten points. You get to choose. You guys get to choose. Your bonus question can be worth up to nine points. So, discuss among each other how much you want your bonus points to be worth. If you choose eight and you get it wrong, you lose eight. If you get if you get it right, you gain eight. If you choose 10 and you get it wrong, you get zero. Because we're gonna subtract it from your score, but if you get it right, you get 20. You have an understanding? You have 30 seconds to discuss what you want your scores to be. Okay, so for the bonus question,
Are you guys ready? You guys ready for this? You can say it out loud and the other team will actually hear it and they won't be doing it. So. so you shouldn't. So just write it down. Alright, your question. When Jesus said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabatani, who did those people standing nearby think he was calling? Oh, I discuss you. What's the answer? I'm a little bit lost. Who Okay, team A, team A got it right, they said Elijah, team B got it right, they also said Elijah. Okay, so um, team A, we had eight points, so to yes, yes, so to um, in total, so their point is 18, and team B, we had five points, so total, 14, so team A won. Congratulations! <laughs> Over Jesus Christ, Holy Michael, our Lord and our God, we thank you. We thank you for your presence within us this afternoon. When we started this service, we called upon you and you let us know that everything that we have asked for is taken care of. Almighty God, let your name be glorified in Jesus' name. King of glory, as we'll be going to different places, different houses. Father, in the name of Jesus, go with us in Jesus' mighty name. All the blessings that you have received here today, Father, let it be planted in Jesus' mighty name. All the deliverance that you have wrought in our lives, Father Lord, let them be permanent in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we commit everyone into your care. Father, Lord, let your favor follow us in Jesus' name. Thank you, everlasting Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen, amen, in Jesus' name. But the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit, Rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Seven, seven, seven. Hallelujah to the four corners of the world. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.